Master opened doors to go potty. Last summer made door never opened. Aries was a real soaker. I had to go. Master was grumpy. Hey dogs, wanna play poker? <laughs> Master desired from us something for him to do. Treat! Treat! He must talk to people all going to poop. What should we say? To be a good dog? Spotty smart. Yep. And unlike you, doesn't smell like a fart. True. <laughs> be good cheer sitters while he Shakespeare. No sniffing backstage. After the look at faces out here. Your program can stay to use again or go home for joy, but never use to beat a pet. Perhaps a chew toy? Don't hold up bright toys. Scary flashes make actors blind. And quite all things, including shoe like a you get short break for tree. Treat! After half play witness. You'll find human water rooms out there to do your business. Rabbit! I hate rabbits. Achilles? Aries? Excuse me, dogs? Who are you? Why don't she follow us? Oh. Treat! Treat! Enjoy the show. Kitty cat dreams, we used to be huge Ruling over earth before you purchased a pooch Man was a plaything, the size of a flea Hiding their bodies under small bonsai tree Magic pixie panthers carried the crown Settling cat bites and warming the ground A monkey got upset, he wanted it all After he slipped in Fell on slimy hairball. Welcome, monkey dreamers, to We Wish It True. Who will must share your vision to end the taboo? Panthers had their power before the coup. Setting up their tea time with some monkey fondue. Humans dream together, but here is the past. Cats are left with small ones to peck through man's trash. With magic in their paw, the kitties were shrewd. Now we have free catnip and Frisky's cat food. Today we march forward and visit a day. Young love in the forest making hearts gay. They claim love is endless, nothing could part. But dreams are fragile, things that flowers can thwart. Welcome, monkey dreamers, we sing it true. Be careful where you nap to see it through. Magic grows in places, causing hearts to undo. Breathing the wrong wish will make your love say adieu. flower with hopes to betray Sent falling through the air It knows the way When his eyes do open Heart must convey I love you to a new face Then the old one betray The lover's girl bestie Came running with fear Warning her should Before her father came near She took her friend's advice Not even asking Then ran from the sea for fear of God's making. Welcome, monkey dreamers. Your wish needs care. If lost in affection, you could be unaware. False safety with a friend can be lured to dare. A nap near a boy won't be mistaken for prayer. Bestie was soon joined by her dearest of heart. She would wake the boy to make him depart. She blew one final kiss before leaving the scene. His eyes then awake with the new love to gleam. Too soon realized that the both were caught. I am the same girl with what's overwrought. He tried to make him go, but he couldn't be taught. And stop up in disgust, cause he's kind of a snot. Welcome, monkey dreamers. Don't be misled, love is something that can really mess with the head. Oh, hanging moments where has filled him with joy, but had he overslept, he'd long for a boy.
Lord? I know not. You can rather move hog. The whisker lurking shadow strikes fear in strong dogs. For your exterior heads evil that must but plummet deep in hole. Please, I am but lover of wood like creatures, not animal control. Give me some magic, right? Your force check should build muscle. <coughs> Construct fellow friends in hole. Take my shovel. Now, fair Hippolyta, our noob show our jaws on soon. Four happy days bring in another moon. But, oh, methinks how slowly old moon wanes, like a stepdame or dowager, daughter with her hands. Four days will quickly steep themselves in night. Four nights will quickly, like dreams, take flight. And then the new moon, like a silver bow bent on high, shall behold the night of our solemnities draw nigh. The crisp fair sweeter, my loving one loves. Though I might prefer valiant dames, sand dogs. Illustrate. <laughs> Go stroke these teeny news, await the pert and nimble spirit of their mirth. As you wish. Please, enter, call me as a friend. My lord, please pardon as I present this gentleman at his hand. How do you mean, sister? Renowned. Good, Aegeus. What's this news? My daughter makes me puke. Full of vexation. Against my child, I come before your grace. Hermia drives me wild. <coughs> Stand forth, Demetrius, my noble lord. This man paid my consent to marry her. Say, Demetrius. Demetrius. Oh, um, that's the plan. Stand forth, I say. <coughs> Gracious, this ignoble paid me which my child. Say, Demetrius. Demetrius! Oh, uh, that's the truth! The fading voice with rhymes of love, bracelets of thy hair. Thou, thou, Lysander, hast stolen this treasure most rare. Thou hast filled my daughter's heart with your cunning moonlight verses, turned obedience to stubborn harshness, and the father's curses. My gracious you, I beg the ancient right. Privilege of Athens says I may dispose of her as I might. As she is mine, I give her to Demetrius with my last breath. For according to law, she goes immediately to her death. <coughs> what say you, Hermia? Be advised, your father is your lord, and you, but a former class, must be imprinted with his word. My Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. So is Lysander. That's true, but lacking your father's voice, he is the lesser. Come, pay your father's due. I would if my father looked with my eyes. Rather, your eyes must his judgment see. I do entreat your pardon. I can't be married to this geek. <gasps> <laughs> I know not how I'm so bold to plead to your grace, but I beseech you, tell me the worst that may befall me in this case if I refuse to write to Demetrius. Either die <laughs> or, or give up the society of men. Live there and see men nevermore. Not even now and then. Blessed are they that master their blood in the livery of a nun, chanting fake hymns to the cold, fruitless moon. If that's your idea of fun. So will I live, so die, my lord, before I yield myself to this man. Take time to pause, and by the new moon be certain of your plan. For upon that day, me and my Amazonian love shall be wed. You must prepare to die or to take Demetrius to her bed, or to live a single life withering on the virgin thorn. Earth her happy is those who sealed the descent is thus reborn. Relent, sweet Hermia. Lysander, yield. Your passion's just a whim. You have her father's love. You should marry him. Scorn for Lysander! True. He has my love, and with it, esteem. As she is mine, I give her to Demetrius. Ugh! You know I hate him! My lord, I'm as well derived as he. My fortune's equal. What's more, I am beloved of Hermia. To Demetrius, <clears throat> she's the sequel. He wooed Netter's daughter and won her. Hook, line, and sinker. She dotes upon this I inconstant man. I told you, he's a sinker. I confess I have heard this tale, but my mind being full did forget. <gasps> Aegeus, come, and Demetrius too. We'll have some private talk yet. And 
for you, bear Hermia, arm yourself, fit your fancies to your father's will, for the law of Athens yields you to him, or to the nunnery still. <coughs> Methinks in this day of two so young should not be chronicled for wise. Your dream has clouded you from seeing with as pure as goo with googly eyes. <coughs> Excuse us, Valentine. Why must you go? You two are young and unaware. I asked you not. Be gone. Yeah, what she said. Oh, and it's not polite to stare. How now, love? How chance the roses of thy cheeks do fade so fast? Well, the course of true love never did run smoothly in the tales from the past. If then true lovers have ever been crossed, it is our destiny too. We must have patience and bear a cross, and so pay love and sue. A good persuasion. Therefore hear me, sweet Hermia. I have a doubt with your aunt. She hath no child. A house three leagues from Athens is her haunt. She respects me as her only son. T to her house we may flee, where this law cannot pursue us. There I may marry thee. So, so steal forth from thy father's house tomorrow night. Meet me in the wood where, where I once met thee with Helena. I'll, I'll be where I once stood. My good Lysander, I swear to thee by keep the strongest bow, in that same place will I meet thee tomorrow night. <coughs> keep promise, love. Here comes Helena. Fair Helena, when you're away. Call you mean fair. Oh, Hermia, that fair again, and say. Demetrius loves your fair. Sickness is catching, why is not favor so? Yours not catch, fair Hermia. Willing ere I go. My ear should catch your voice, my eye, your eye. My tongue should speak as yours when Demetrius is nigh. And please teach me how you look and with what art you sway the motion of Demetrius' heart. I frown upon him, and he loves me still. Oh, that your frowns give my smile such skill. I give him curses, yet he gives me love. Oh, how my prayer, prayers to such affection move. The more I hate him, the more he follows me. And the more I love him, the more he hates me. His folly, Helena, is no fault of mine. None but your beauty would that fall for mine. Take comfort. He no more shall see my face. Lysander, <coughs> and I shall fly this place. Helena, to you our minds do unfold. As the waning moon you do behold. <laughs> A, lo a chance, a time when lovers' flights <coughs> doth still conceal. Through Athens' gates we devise to steal. And in the wood where you and I would want to meet, emptying our hearts of their consul sweet, there Lysander and I shall take flight, and thence from Athens turn away our sight. Farewell, sweet Plato, pray thou for us. Oh, and good luck for Anthony died Demetrius. Till tomorrow, sweet Hermia. Helena, adieu. As you on him, Demetrius don't on you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how happy some over other some can be. Through Athens I have gone as fair as she, but what of that? Demetrius thinks not, so he only see what he do know. Oh! I will tell him of fair Hermia's flight, and through the woods he will tomorrow night, and I will follow him, and for most Welcome news, he may yet thank me, and so change his views, hearing me and I to enrich mine own lot, to have the love back which she hath forgot. <sighs> <laughs> The 
pleasant mender? Here, Peter Quince. You must take Thisbe. And what is Thisbe? A wandering knight? Or a prince? It is the lady that Pyramus loves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm growing a beard. Let me not play a woman. You'll be in a mask. That's If I may hide my face, let me play Thisbe too. I'll speak in a monstrous little voice. Oh, this Oh, this I love you. No, you must play parents. Flute is Thisbe. Starlight is Thisbe's mother. Pyramus' father is Snout. And the one. Ooh, dogs. And the lion is Snout. Oh, brother. What? Well, what is me? Not that I need much. Find you. You? Oh. You stand down as you steal ladies' hearts and wait. I just stand and wait. Now that's a real I crave. Me! See my wrist so well formed? It will make their hearts hush. Such talent, he can wave and play pyramids. Have you my part written? Pray give it to me, for I am. Slow. Slow, yes. It's okay. <laughs> it is nothing but roaring. Okay. Let me play the lion. I will roar until I stop the show. Yeah. <laughs> you do it too terribly, you'll frighten the ladies. And True. then they'll hang us all. They'll roar as gently as a suckling dove, like a nightingale, as we call Oh. You can play no part. But Pyramus! I'm out. What? <laughs> what did you just say? Where are you going? Oh, no. Get back here! I'm Guys, I'm not allowed to do that. Guys. Mm -hmm. Guys. No one? Okay. I you have Pyramus. No, you can't. <laughs> Funny joke. But you cannot play Pyramus. No one can play Pyramus. Yeah, yeah, we have, we, we got, okay. We, we gotta get more, we gotta work. We can't work. Play different play. We, Why can't we, we can't do another play. Do another play. Yeah. Why can't we quit? Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer. I just turn over on and make him speak. 
smile when I am fat and bean fed and horse beguiled, neighing in likeness of a billy bull. Sometimes I lurk in a gossip's bowl, and in very likeness of a roasted crab. When she drinks against her lips, I bow, and even the wisest aunt, for a stool mistake me, then I slip from her bum and down top of the she, which room fairy, and comes over on. And here I mister, for that he were gone. Ill met my moonlight proud to Tanya fast. Jealous though, Baron. Fairies, haste over there. Skip hence, we care not if you roar. Carry her as one time, and not I thy lord. Then I must be thy lady, who well I know, when thou away from fairyland dost go, mercy, love, and playing on pipes of corn, to the amorous shepherdess, or the bouncing Amazon, your warrior love Hippolyta will soon be wed to Theseus, and you must give joy to their wedding bed. How canst thou thus rail, Titania? For shame. Knowing thy love to Theseus, I know your gage. These are words of jealousy, and well you know that never since the middle summer's glow may we on hill, in forest, or by sea to dance our ringlets to the wind most free. But with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds, piping in retort, have sucked contagious fogs upon the land. Each pelting river made to overflow its sand. Till the fold stands empty in the drowned field. The plama lost his sweat, for no green corn will it yield. The ox hath their horse stretched his yoke in vain. From our debate, O God, you're a pain. It lies in you to fix it then, my fawn. Why should the Tanya cross that Oberon? I do but beg the changeling boy. Not for all fairyland. Don't be coy. His mother was a boy trip of the right, and in the sprites of Indian air for night. Full often half she got her head, and sat with her on Neptune's village there. Marking the embarked traders as they grieve, when they laugh to see the snails come see, and grow big bellied with the wind's weight, and she was pretty with swimming gait, following her wrong, wrong the rich with young squire, would sit on land, and imitate, and perspire, to fetch her trifles and turn to surprise, as from her voyage with merchandise. And she, being mortal, of that boy did die, and for her I will not part with the guide. Give me that boy of page, and I will dance in your round. Not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies, let us leave this ground. We shall try downright if I longer stay. All armed with his bow, flying between the cold moon and the earth below. He loosed his love shaft in a virgin by the sea, but missed his mark, and she passed on fancy free. Yet marked I with a bolt of Cupid fell upon a flower in a western dell. Love and idleness, maidens call it in their bower. I showed it thee once. Bring me this flower, the juice of it, but upon sleeping eyelids laid will make one madly dote, man only, upon the next living thing that meets their eye. I'll put a girdle around you in 40 minutes. Fly! Having once this flower, I shall watch Titania sleeping, and drop the liquor in her eyes like gentle weeping. Then when she wakes, what she sees, beast, fowl, or flunky, she shall pursue. Be a bear, bull, or monkey. Ere I take this child from off her sight, I'll make her render up her page to my right. But who comes here? I am invisible to their eyes, and shall watch the conversation in this disguise. I love thee not, the proper Suri not. Where's Lysander? Where's that Hermia? She's hot. 
Thou toldst me that was stolen unto this wood, and here am I, though it does me no good, because I cannot find Hermia. Hence get thee gone. Hard-hearted Demetrius, you throw me on. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Do I not in truth most rare? I tell you I do not, cannot love you full soul. And even for that I love you the more. I'm your spaniel, and the more you spare me, the more faithful the fire of my love will burn me. Tempt not too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick of what I wish. You must hear it. <laughs> and I am sick when I look not upon you. Uh, uh, I shall leave thee to the mercy of the wild beasts in the zoo. Uh, the wildest hath not such a heart yeah. as your own. Run where you will. I'm your dog. You're my bone. Let me go. If you follow me, I will do you no good. I shall do thee mischief in this wood. I in the temple, the town, the field. You do me mischief, Demetrius. Yield. Yield. Women cannot fight for love as men may do. We should be wooed and we're not men to woo. I'll follow thee and make a heaven of a hell to die upon the hand I love so well. Fare thee well, nymph. Ere he leave this grove, thou shalt fly him, and he shall seek thy love. Welcome, wanderer. Hast thou the flower? Pray give it me. I'll unlock its power. I know of a bank where the wild thyme blows, where the oxlips and the nodding violet grows. There Titania sleeps some time of night. Lulled in these flowers with dances delight. With the juice of this flower I shall streak her eyes and fill her head full of hateful fantasies. <laughs> Take thou some of it. Search through this grove. A young Athenian lady is in love with a disdainful youth. Anoint his eyes, but do it only so that the first thing that he espies may be the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garments he hath on. Look thou meet me ere the first cock crow. Fear not, my lord, your servant shall do you so. <laughs> Uh, will rust us if, uh, if you 
think it good and uh, tarry the comforts of the day for to uh, to speak the truth that I've forgotten our way. Be it so, Lysander, find the truth by your side, for upon this bank I shall rest my head. One turf shall serve pillow for us both. Nay, good Lysander, for my sake, lie further off. Mm. Such separation as they will be said. <laughs> further off becomes a first statue. She sees not Hermia, 
and only a sleek zazap. And never a mere serpent may send him here. For as too much of the sweeter things, deep loathing to my stomach brains, and to my too sweet lover be, of all things hatred, but most of me, and all my powers, address your strength and might to honor her name and to bear her night. <laughs> For Pyramus, for Pyramus 
and Thisbe meets not by day. How we bring moonlight indoors, I would know. <laughs> Doth the moon not shine on the night of our show? A calendar! By the moonshine, I say! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It doth shine that night. Let it shine yes. in our play! Yes. Leave a casement of the great chamber full of light, so that the moonlight may shine on our acting inside. Or one might come in the person of the moon bearing a lantern. Nay, he will that goo. Goo with the lion with his face through his neck. I'm not a goo, nor I! Will you? Good. 
Oh, why rebuke you him that loves you so? Lay such bitter breath on your bitter foe. I but tried that I should use thee worse, for thou, I fear, hast given me cause to curse. If thou hast slain my sander in his sleep, you're in deep doo-doo, mister. I mean thee. The sun is not the true into the day it's he to me. What is stolen away from city Hermia? Not. The moon is only the earth you sought. It cannot be but thou hast murdered him. So should a murderer look. So dead. So dead. <laughs> So should the murderer look, so should I. Pierce through the heart with your strong cruelty. Yet you, the murderer, is It's glim, it's yonder Venus in her glimmering sphere. What's this smile, Lysander? Where is he? Ah, good Demetrius, wilt thou give him me? I would rather give his carcass to my house. Ah, dog, ah, her! Waste your words to drag me through the mud. I'm not guilty of Lysander's blood. Nor, nor is he dead, for all that I can tell. I pray thee then, tell me he is well. And if I could, what would I get there for? A privilege never to see me more, and from my hated presence part I so, see me no more, whether he be dead or no. There's no following her in this fierce vein. <laughs> As she says, I'm in this doo-doo deep. <laughs> a woman runs the matka, but a man should sleep. <laughs> what <laughs> hast thou done? <laughs> thou hast mistaken quite, and laid the love juice on some true love sight. About the wood goes swifter than the wind, okay, okay. and Helena of Athens looked out fine. Okay, okay. Oh, fancy six years and pale of cheer, with sighs of love that cost the fresh blood dear. By some illusion, see thou bring her here, or charm his eyes when she do appear. I go, I go, look how I go. Flower <laughs> of this purple dye, hit with Cupid's archery, sink an apple of his eye. <laughs> when his love he doth espy, let her shine as gloriously as the Venus of the sky. When he wakes, if she be fine. Beg of her for remedy. Merriment. 
you were men, as men you are in show, you would not treat such a gentle lady as so. To vow and swear and sue and praise my part from the tree of hate you with all of your hearts. Both rivals and love Hermia, who now have rivals of Mount Helena, a true exploit, a manly and bride, to get your own tears in a poor man's eyes. You are unkind, the maitress. Be not so. For you love Hermia, this you know I know. And here, with all good will, with all my heart, in Hermia's love, I yield my power, and yours of Helena, to me bequeath, whom do I love, and will till death. Lysander, keep thy Hermia, I will not. If e'er I loved her, all that love is gone. My heart to her, but as a guest, sojourned. Now to Helene. <laughs> Like a good. 
Cassandra, thou run away. Speak, thou fled with some bush. Where doth you hide thy head? Thou coward! <laughs> Art thou bragging to the stars? Yeah. Killing the bushes that thou lookest yeah. for war? Come, recreate. Yeah, art thou there? Follow my voice. We'll find a man for it here. Me on. When they go where he calls me, Cindy is gone. Wow. The villain is much lighter hail than I. I follow fast, but faster did I fly. How fallen am I in this dark and even way? Here will rest me. Comes our gentle day. <clears throat> thou before me, shifting every pace. Nor stand before me, nor look me in the face. Where art thou now? Come hither. <clears throat> I am here. <clears throat> Thou shalt bide as dear, a fair eye thy face by daylight see. Now, go on thy way, fate must constraint me. <sighs> to measure out my length on this cold bed, <sighs> my days of approach to be busy. Oh weary night, oh long tedious night, pray leave me back to Athens, grant some light. Till then, And I will, like Ivy, wind me in my arms and 
sleep thou? Oh, how I dote on thee. Oh, oh how I love thee. Welcome, wanderer. Seest thou this sweet sight? What thinkest thou of thy work? You're right. The dotage I do now begin to pity, seeking sweet favors for this fool from the city. When I met her of late in the wood, she straight gave me the change with boy. That's good. I am feeling a bit guilty, so now I'll undo this imperfection in her eyes. And you, gentle puck, shall take the transformed roof from off the head of this Athenian gook. That he may back to Athens with this sight unseen. But first I shall release the fairy queen. Be as thou was wont to be, <coughs> see as thou was wont to see. Diane, but oh, and Cupid's flower. Hath such force and blessed power. Now, Titania, wake my sweet queen. There lies your love. How came these things to pass? Robin, take off his head. Titania, musical. Music, poet, come one and all. This donkey is just clueless, acting so proud, singing dodges songs so stupidly loud. No need to waste your coin on a boy's tutor. But this is proof why his dad should be neutered. The cards can wander, but lost in the dark. Occasionally bump an ember, causing a spark. But stealing someone's heart is not very smart. Forcing a young crush will only drive you apart. Listen, monkey dreamers, your heart is no toy. Courtship needs patience to bring your dream joy. Stopping out of bounds will make your heart go numb. So wait until you're wanted so you don't feel so dumb. If you want another to give you a kiss, and what you find is that they only get pissed, ask a fairy feline or a prairie will guide. And if they don't like you, tell them kiss your backside. Don't wallow in your grief. If you despair, playing with your dream can be a messy affair. Follow or meow, or heart will upset. If it doesn't work out, well, we're cats, we don't care. Listen, monkey dreamers, your heart is no toy. A person you might love might bring you no joy. A side that seems greener might be growing big grass. So do what your cat wants, or we'll show you our ass. <laughs> when thou wakest from this magic sleep, thine own fool's eyes wilt thou peep. Fairy king, attend and mark, for I do hear the morning lark. My queen, in silence through this glade, trip we together after night's shade. Come, my love. I 
was once with Hercules in a wood of Crete, where in pounds of Sparta we did meet. Brave Cadmus, and never did I hear such saying as the truth to bear. My house are the my lord, this is my daughter, and my son, and Demetrius. How shall we find them here, I wonder? And this is Helena, daughter of Ovedo. How shall we find them here under this cedar? No doubt they rose up early and came in your park. The day by nuptial that fell asleep in this park. What think you, Hippolyta? My lord, surely it's as you say. They just faint with excitement for the wedding day. <laughs> but speak good, Aegeus. Let us hear your voice. Is this not the day Hermione must make her choice? It is, my lord. The huntsman shall then awaken. <laughs> good morrow, friends. What a curious snap you've taken. Now I pray thee stand up. But your bedclothes are already. Now explain why we stumble on this slumber party. Oh, my lord, I shall reply. Uh, but I, as yet I swear, I cannot truly say how I was not here. But uh, truly will I speak. And, and now do I be think. Ah, uh, yes, I came here with Permia to this wood on the brink of Athens. Sorry. Our intent was to uh, escape the gaping maw of the uh, most uh, pernicious Athenian law. Enough! Enough! Uh, I have enough, my lord. I beg the law. Punish him by his word! He would have stolen away upon my sake. Deprive me of my daughter, Demetrius, on his day! My lord, Heracleon told me I'm the flight, and I, in fury, followed them in the night. Power, I do not know. Not to hurt me, I smell as the snow. Now, when the object in the blender of my eye is clean. Typical guy. <laughs> to her, I was controlled before I changed my mood. Like the sickness that I love this food. Now, as in health, I come to my natural taste. It will never more be true. I have no more time to waste. Bear witness, love God, ear of Sir so a cute young love. Fair lovers, you have fortunately met, and of your story we will hear more yet. Aegeus, I overbear you in this fuss, for the temple by and by along with us. These couples shall eternally be made. Made, great duke? It is true. Demetrius to Helena, Lysander to Hermia. Me thinks I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Will thus to Athens, behold the feast and great solemnity.
me things you thought I had? Nay, that is but an ass. I'll have a pure quince write a ballad and song. Bottom stream, as you call it. We shall all sing along to the Duke and Duchess of the end of our play. The gap. I'm hungry. Do you know why I'm cooking, hey? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Deborah the Saint, hand and care to two. I could have <laughs> That'll do, Bumble, that'll do. If we offended, it is with our good will. We just want to show our simple skill. We did not come as mining to content you. Our true intent is that you should repent you. He writes his prologue like a cult that's free, though the waving brought much. In this interlude it doth the fall, that I once now by name present a wall. And such a wall as I would have you think had in it, had in it, a cranny nooker chink. A cranny nooker chink. I am that same wall as I would have you know, through which the lovers whisper, truth is so. If you desire a wall to give better word, this is the wittiest partition I have ever heard. Oh, Grimlock Knight! Oh, Knight with you so black! Oh, Knight! Oh, Knight! A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and that wall... Thank you. And thou, sweet wall, show me thy chin. Where is it? Pick a spot, any spot. Thanks, so courteous wall. But what's this I see? No, this me! Cursed by thy stones for deceiving me! Me thinks the wall has a cause to curse back. Mm. What are you doing? Go, go, back, back. Now, it's not It is not. For I am this me, Liz! Alack! Please stop. Deceiving me was her cue. This be is to enter now. We are to speak through the wall. You will see how. Comes this way. Ah, you see. Ah, no. That's better. <laughs> this is all Nini's tomb. No! <laughs> Where is my love? <laughs> it is me, your love. I have come to eat you. Run away! Truest Disney 
sight. But stay. What's this? I need a mantle. Since Katie's drink too. 